Greetings, this is Reverend Kyle, and if you are a fan of my YouTube channel, you know that I just love to get new little toys, especially toys that are going to help me with Android devices or computers or virtual reality or any of that stuff. Uh, I love it when I get new toys. Now, I have to give you a little bit of background here. The reason why I have this new little gizmo in front of me is because I had three very specific needs. Uh, need number one is I had uh, the need for a battery pack to bring with me. Uh, I am a avid user of my technology, and as a result of that, uh, I tend to deplete the battery very, very quickly. And so I find myself not close to a power source and really needing something. And so my search started with, I really need an external battery. Now, the second thing I needed is I have multiple devices. I have uh, dozens of Android devices, and in some situations, I, I'm I'm wanting to, for example, uh, in, in the car uh, on a trip on a vacation, uh, wanting to stream uh, video or audio to multiple devices all at one time, and uh, trying to use my phone as some sort of Wi-Fi hotspot uh, becomes very burdensome and again <laughs> battery life doesn't really uh, uh, help much. Um, the, the third thing that I needed really was a way to look at pictures that I've taken. Now I have uh, very nice, actually several very nice digital SLR cameras and uh, they happen to use SD cards and sometimes looking at the pictures you took on the back of a camera screen just doesn't really cut it for me, especially when I have a uh, seven inch or a nine inch tablet. So that's why we have this in front of us, the RAV Power Wi-Fi Disk Power Bank. Um, this device here was the perfect thing for me. It met all of my requirements and uh, I got this on Amazon. Uh, I paid $45 for it. It was Prime eligible, so I didn't pay shipping for it. Uh, but let's bust into this and let me show you what you get. So again, uh, RAV Power Wi-Fi Disk. Let's bust this thing open. Now, uh, and I have opened this already. I'm just kind of showing you what you get. You get a manual, and you are going to want to look at this. Uh, the manual tells you how to get the software uh, for your computer and also for the uh Android or iOS devices, uh, it's it's compatible with all of those. Uh, the the cool thing about this too is uh, three thousand milliamp hour power bank. Uh, that's significant. That that's a, that's a decent amount. So we'll take a look at that here in a minute. So that's your manual, and here is the actual device itself. Now, as you can see, uh, it, it's pocketable. Uh, it's indeed pocketable. There are uh, LEDs on the front, one to indicate power, one for reading and writing, uh, Wi-Fi, and then this also conveniently has the ability to have internet pass-through. So if your phone is acting as a, a, a uh, internet source or if you just happen to be at home and uh, you're using this, because this can be used as a NAS as well, uh, you actually have in the front uh, the ability to put the SD card in or a USB device. Now, uh, it, for this demonstration, I will be using just a standard USB uh, thumb drive. Uh, and you could actually plug a hard drive into this, um, you know, a small laptop, external hard drive, uh, something with uh, some substantial space on it. And uh, I plan on doing that. Uh, on our next trip. So uh, the kids have the ability to stream their videos or music or whatever from it without having to load it onto each of the devices it'll actually stream. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on a while. Oh, and on the side here, this is um, this is where you're going to power it. So you plug this into here, and this cable does come with it, and this actually will power uh, this is where you charge it. So you can plug this into your computer or your, uh, if you have one of those wall adapters, that, that works out really well. Uh, okay, so that's what you get. Now, you're going to want to keep this cable with you also because when it comes time to actually charge your device, you just plug it in the other direction and 
boom, assuming that your phone uses that, which almost all of them do nowadays, uh, that's how you charge it. So, and there's a reset button. I haven't played with that yet, but I uh, there is some software involved in here, so I would imagine pushing that is going to completely reset back to factory standards. So I'm going to power it on here. Okay, and what you'll see here is, uh, and it says in the manual, it tells you uh, the different blinking codes and all of that. Uh, so right now it's activating the Wi-Fi, and uh, once the Wi-Fi is activated, it will connect itself to the internet via my wireless router at home, and uh, and then we're going to plug in the disk, and uh, we're going to take a look at that. Now while that's powering up, and it does take a minute or two to power up, I'm going to grab my uh, my tablet here. I've got a, a Nexus 7. I'm going to power this guy on, and I'm going to go, and I actually haven't loaded the software yet on this, so I'm going to go out to the Play Store, and uh, I'm going to go look for, well, I guess it helps to type correctly. Air Store. So Air Store is the, uh, the app that you're going to go and get, and you're going to install that. Okay, you can see over there the, the actual the RAV power device, uh, the Wi-Fi is no longer blinking, and the, uh, the internet light is in on as well. Uh, so this is on now, uh, the device. I'm actually going to go into the, well, let me plug my USB disk in. Okay. Okay, so that's in, and this thing actually lights up to show that it's on. So it's a little odd thumb drive. Okay, so what we're going to do to make this work is I'm actually going to go into my Wi-Fi settings. And in my Wi-Fi settings, I'm going to have Wi-Fi on, and I'm looking for the Wi-Fi SD dash whatever. Uh, this one happens to be mine. And I'm going to connect to it. Now it's going to ask for a password, and it can be changed. By default, it's eight ones, and it's going out and obtaining an IP address from this device here. Okay, so it looks like I'm connected and I have internet access. Fantastic. All right, so let's go out and find, there is the Air Store. Okay, and it wants my password again, and... Um, Actually, this is going to be a different password because I've actually... The first thing you're going to want to do is take this thing, plug it into your computer, set it up via the software, and all that's in the manual. Uh, let me put that password in real quick. Hold on a second. Okay, so now that's in. And look at what we got here. So we've got my device, which is everything on the machine itself, the actual tablet, and then I've got my Wi-Fi disk. And uh, here it shows USB disk volume 1, which I'm going to hit. And uh, this is what's actually on this thumb drive here. And so, uh, for example, here's a picture. So I'm just going to click on the picture. And there it is. So this is a picture that I took uh, the other day at the zoo. Okay, and uh, so that's that. And uh, it doesn't look like I can flip, but go to a different one. And again, just takes a second, and boom, there it is. So that is pictures. Now, pictures seem to be working okay. So from the camera perspective, uh, I could have had an SD card in here, and I could be looking at my pictures. This guy needs some red eye reduction. Okay. So what about video? So let's pump out uh, some video here, and we'll just use MX Player. Okay. How far it will go. Alright. So this is a uh, PBS Nova and you can see I'm flipping through it. It's uh, okay. So that works. Uh, let's see. So that was actually an MP4. Uh, let's try an MOV file. And I don't really think that the format is going to matter much because let's see. Okay, so that seems to work okay. 
Uh, let's see here. Let's try an AVI file. Again, the formatting is going to be dependent on the, the player that you have, so MX player is going to handle it pretty well. So, Okay, so good stuff. And uh, I, I'll tell you right now, I, uh, I'm not going to show you here in this video, but you can stream up to five devices at one time. Uh, with with no with no issues. Um, I'll let, let's try a uh, MP3. All right. Okay. Okay. So. All right, so um, is it perfect? I'll, I'll tell you what, it's close enough for me. Uh, this is exactly what I needed this device to do. Now, uh, we, we talked about uh, uh, charging as well. And so if I unplug this guy and plug him in, I can actually take this and plug it into the bottom of my device. And... Um, and it's going to charge. And it's actually, if I were to have a, an SD card in here as well, it would also connect uh, that direction. So let me just turn this off and turn it back on. Well, it's fully charged, so there's not really anything to show here. But uh, yeah, so so this little device, I'll tell you what, is my new best friend in terms of uh, uh, you know my portable devices. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm probably going to end up uh, keeping this um, either in the car or, or with me, um, maybe in my camera bag. I'm not really sure where, but it's definitely going to stay close by me uh, for always and forever at this point because uh, realistically, this device fits several of my uh, needs, and I have a feeling that a lot of you have the same needs, uh, looking for a way to make a hard drive wireless or a way to uh, you know have multiple devices connect to each other uh, or connect to the same thing in the in the in the car or in an office or something like that. Um, you know, it, it, it's a NAS, it's a charger, it's a it's a it's a backup device, it's a streamer, it's it, it, it's everything. And uh, you know, at forty five bucks with free shipping with Prime. Uh, pretty darn neat. Uh, so I, I always get excited when I get new pieces of equipment like this. Um, it, it really uh, really brightens up my day. And hopefully this uh, review shows you that uh, this is one of those devices that you probably uh, probably should look into. Uh, and, and I'm actually going to see if I can uh, uh, grab some other devices too. It looks like Rav Power's got some other fun little toys and trinkets to play with. So I'm going to see if I can find some other stuff that they make. And, uh, and grab some of that as well. All right, uh, I will put a link to the Amazon page where you can order this uh, in the description of the video. So uh, this has been Reverend Kyle, and thank you so much for watching.